so this lecture lecture on stationary distribution of birth and death chain so this is stationary distribution birth and death chain so you already discussed on the uh, that birth and death chain what is uh, whether it is a uh, transient or recurrent for what condition it is recurrent and for what condition it is transient now we discuss on the stationary distribution of that so again we uh, take the state space as 0 1 2 dot 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 to d and if uh, or it may be natural number union zero non negative integers in that case we take in that case we just just put d equal to infinity. D equal to infinity means it is just not uh, zero up to infinity. It is not that infinity is not a real number. So it is not zero one two up to infinity. It is just zero uh, one two dot 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 dot. dot. It is natural number union zero. So zero is not any number. So zero is not in, uh, infinity is not in the set. It is just a notation. We just uh, this, uh, to write something in uh, in simpler way. Just uh, just notation only. Now, this is the px and qx. We know the px is positive for all x uh, other than uh, d because in d, in d it can't be any, any birth, and qx is positive for uh, any in j in for when x equals 0, there is no such uh, um, depth. So it is uh, just up to d. And for d fin infinite, it is, is this, but if d is infinite, we can't take q d, q infinity. There is no such thing. So for uh, you just for finite d, that means the first case, q d also positive. But for d is infinite, there is no such q infinity. It not exists, basically. It is just a notation. So we just uh, take uh, two, two different cases when d. Is zero up to d and zero up to dot 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 dot. In that case, there is no uh, the last element, so there is no question of uh, x equal to infinity. It's, it's just x uh, greater than zero in that case. No, no. Now, for uh, what about the r? That r is uh, can be anything is zero or positive or any uh, no, non-negative uh, number less than one. Now, first we take the case where d is uh, suppose d is d is just finite. Which is the case where d is finite. In that case, we know th that is uh, the initial distribution uh, and then pxy. This is nothing but just pi y. Some of all x. Some of all x. This is, we know, this is uh, for all y belongs to this state space. We know this is just a start from x and the distribution of x, then go to the y, and that is the uh, marginal of uh, that y. That Initial distribution of uh, the probability of y, okay, initial probability of y. Now, this implies what? This implies pi 0, x equal to 0 into r 0 plus pi 1 that go so one step uh, uh, forward q1 equal to pi 0. So it is uh, start, starting from 0 and go stay, stay there. That is the probability is R0. And starting from 1, it go one step. Uh, so one death is there. So from 1 to 0, uh, that is Q1. That that we know that the probability is Q1. Now this, we have this uh, for the first, uh, for 0. And for other value, uh, other than 0, y equal to 0, this is the case. And if y not equal to 0, other than 0, y greater than equal to 1. For y greater than equal to 1, what is this? What is pi y? Pi y is nothing but we start from y minus 1 and it's uh, one step forward, so it is birth. Then pi y, r y, that is uh, no the birth, no death. And if it is in y plus 1, one death is there. So altogether, uh, this sum will be pi y. Now, this implies that q1 into pi 1 minus p0 into pi 0 is 0. 
and uh, you just take uh, the difference of that and if you take another difference is q y plus 1 pi of y plus 1 minus p uh, py pi of y equal to q y pi y minus p y minus 1 pi y minus 1 So you just put uh, R y equal to is equal to one minus uh, P y. Uh, you just put R y equal. Remember that here R y equal to one minus P y minus Q y. So you just replace R y, and you will get this uh, get this uh, relation. Now this is true for all y greater than equal to, and for y equal to zero, this is the first one. This, this and this. Now by induction, what happened? By induction, uh, induction, uh, q y plus one pi y plus one minus p y pi y. This is zero. So it is just by induction. So start from when uh, y equal to zero, we have this this expression is zero, and for y equal to uh, any y, this is one step forward. Then this is actually the right, left hand and right hand is the same. Just y replaced by y minus one. So this is like if, if if you take the right hand side is as as a y then a zero is zero and a y plus one is just a y. So it means a two equal to a a one equal to a zero which is zero. A two equal to a one which is zero. So everything this quantity is zero. Every for all y it is zero. Now from that what we get from that we get pi y plus one is just p y minus y plus one and this is uh, not only true for this is true for all y y greater than equal to zero. It's not only for y equal to one; it's, it's also true for y equal to zero. Uh, so this is uh, true for all y is greater than equal to zero. Now we just again, it is like a GP, uh, just product of something. It's not GP; it's just the uh, term is just uh, is changing. Uh, then you just pi one by pi uh, pi zero is just p p uh, p zero by q one. Then pi two by pi one is that. So and you just take the product. If you take the product, it's like pi one pi of one by pi of zero. This is uh, nothing but uh, just p zero by q one. Then again, pi two by pi one is uh, p one by q two. Dot dot dot, and it will end with some um, pi x say pi x by pi x minus one, which is just and that qx here is px minus one. You just multiply all this thing, and you will get pi x pi pi zero. This is p zero p one up to dot dot px minus one. Then here it is q one dot dot up to qx. So for x greater than equal to one, I can't put x equal to zero. Uh, it's x minus one. x equal to zero. It is just one basically. Now. Take this quantity as pi x. Let uh, this quantity as pi suffix x. This quantity as pi suffix x. Q one q two dot dot q x. What x are they? Don't then what uh, what we get? We get pi x is just pi suffix x then into pi zero. What x are they? And pi zero equal to zero. We also put we have to take pi zero equal to zero. X one x equal to zero. We, we take pi zero equal to zero. Pi zero equal to one. Sorry. So, so we have this uh, recursion relation on pi suffix x now. So pi suffix x is just uh, this pi x into pi x zero. And not the recursion relation. We get the, actually the relation of pi x. Now conversely, if you take conversely, if I take uh, if I take pi x as this. Pi x as this quantity, then what happens? Then we get sum over pi x. This is pi y that we know. Uh, now, if uh, if summation the, that pi x sum over all pi x is finite, then the then that we know that there is a stationary distribution. Then the chain has the stationary distribution. We know uh, in the previous. Uh, 
Did you see when this distribution is stationary? Uh, has a stationary distribution. The chain has a unique. Now it is a, also unique stationary distribution. Unique stationary distribution. So, so if this uh, sum is finite, see the series is finite. Now, what is pi x then? Pi x is nothing but uh, this pi x is just pi x divided by pi 0. That pi 0 is that sum of our, uh, that pi 0 is 1 by uh, this thing, y equal to 0 to pi over pi. So this series, this series, you just take the sum on the, this series, uh, left hand side, if you take the sum over all x, then left hand side, that uh, sum over pi x, is one that means uh, sum over pi x pi sub x into pi zero is one so that means we got the, uh, get the value of pi zero you just take the sum sum of that you take the sum over all this so, and that is one you know if you take our one that is one and this is if pi zero is a constant so we take that part so this is so pi zero is one by that one by the series that's summation of the series so we, we take this as a finite. Now we got this. Uh, we got this. What is pi zero? Uh, pi x. Pi x is just uh, sum of uh, pi a, pi x by the sum of pi x. And what is pi x? Pi x is that the product of that thing. P zero p zero. P x x minus one by this. My by divided by q one q two q x. Now what happen if uh, if this sum sum is uh, not finite? It is infinite. So it is a divergent series. Remember, this is a positive set of uh, this is a series of the positive term, so cannot be oscillated. It is either converge to a finite number or it's diverge. Then the stationary distribution, stationary distribution does, does not exist. We know then this distribution does not exist. And suppose uh, now in last case we take this uh, as suppose your d is finite. Then similarly we can by similar argument. Uh, similarly, we can find that pi x is just similar way. Remember the last one is uh, is d, so it is y equal to zero to d. So not infinite is just you get the same result when it is finite for infinite is it is going on and it is just a finite sum so there is no question of uh, divergence of that so it's true for all this you just check this homework just check it's similar this is just a similar of this you have to just take the uh, sum up to d remember that the uh, last few d is just uh, zero P, 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 D is zero, just last one is zero. So, this is the condition for the stationary distribution. Uh, so, if the sum is the entire series is divergent, then stationary distribution does not exist for the Barth and the chain. And the sum is fine, the series is uh, converged. The series, the series means the series of that pi x. And pi x is the, that the product of something divided by the product of something. And if it's infinite, then it's finite, then stationary distribution exists and otherwise it not exists. Now, one more example is uh, Arnfest chain. So one example for that is Arnfest chain, is also Barth and Death chain, special case of so Arnfest chain. So, what about the Arnfest chain? Suppose a small case, say d equal to 3. So, for uh, vector d equal to 3. What is the uh, take a transition matrix? Uh, transition matrix is this. this is just an example. Oh, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Say so what it is just uh, that should be the Rx is zero. This is just an example. Okay. Just an example. We take Rx as zero. So this is an example, and you just calculate all these pi pi values. Pi zero is one, pi one is three, 
you just can calculate uh, it's easy to calculate and pi 3 is just 1 and you can calculate the initial that that uh, stationary distribution so 1 by 8 pi 1 is 3 by 8 and this this and this is just 1 by 8 it just you can calculate so it is not a steady state uh, why is it not a steady state uh, it is not a steady state it is not a steady state distribution so that is what is this so limit of uh, we know steady state means this limit uh, this is the condition for the steady state uh, so limit in that limit is go going to that in uh, stationary distribution but this is not the steady state so this does not hold so it is not hold uh, for any y Uh, obviously, if it is not true for one y, that is not steady state. But in, in this example, this is not true for uh, every. This is not true for every y. Actually, so, no y is true. So why this is true? Not true because uh, the, as this 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 is just uh, zero for all odd for all all for all in odd odd integer. So for all in order this is zero you just you can check easily check that if from x to x in in one step it is zero and x to x to uh, three step is also zero just zero to zero one to one in in three step is again zero you just it's actually a random work so you can't go back come back to the same state in, in odd number of state so that is uh, that limit cannot be uh, ex limit cannot exist if it is exist, unless uh, it is zero it, exist if it is zero so odd, odd term is zero if it if limit exists that that limit must be zero because a subsequence goes to zero so uh, but it can be then pi y if, if it's pi y that pi y is zero for all y. that can be true so this is an example uh, where it is a, a stationary distribution exists but this uh, this is, is not steady state now and more one more example for modified to say modified unconstrained modified on so what is modified on question we know you just level two box two boxes level one and two and D was a level one, two up to D initially some balls in box one and other rest are in box two and remaining yeah, balls are in box two now an integer uh, we know an integer is selected integer is selected randomly with uniformly random with one by d probability randomly and the ball leveled is removed removed from the box uh, whatever in, in if the box one then we remove the ball from the box one. If box two then we remove that ball from box two now we we have to put this uh, ball in the box some box so select a box now select a box again select a box randomly now so you first select a ball and then select a um, ball uh, uh, box randomly and put the ball that ball put uh, the ball put the ball in that box 
So if it's the same box, then it just re uh, replace. And if it's the other box, then it just uh, change the box and repeat this infinite infinite repeat uh, indefinite uh, uh, independently also. Then what is state space? State space is zero, one, two, up to d. So d many balls uh, is there. So d many balls. And say xn is the uh, random variable which number of balls in the box one. Uh, box one, say x. Now again for d equal to three, we consider the small case d equal to three. What is the transition matrix? The transition matrix is again it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. It's just half of is then one by six. You can check it is one by six. It is just homework. Let's check it. Why this is so? If there one ball in the first box, then uh, then one ball in the next step is half, and two balls is one third probability, and zero balls is one by six probability. One third, half, one by six. And then for every three balls, then it is half of it. You just check it. Uh, you can easily find the transition matrix. Because uh, remember that ball is selected randomly, one by uh, whatever. If there are two balls, then one by two probability, three balls, one by three probability. If there are four balls, one by four probability. And uh, that box is chosen uh, with probability half. Now the stationary distribution. Distribution distribution is you can check it that pi zero is one by eight. Just uh, find that uh, uh, you know how to, how to find this. This is how what that product uh, pi x. You have to find the pi small suffix x first, then uh, some of that. You have to first write what is the p1, p2, p, uh, p, p0, p1, p2, p3, p1, q0, q1, q2. Then you have to write the pi1, pi, pi sub x0, pi sub x1, that ratio of something. And then you have to uh, find this. So there's a calculation. You just check this. Pi2 is just 3 by 8, and pi3 is 1 by 8. In the same thing, we have this. And now we can check that this is a steady state. This is a steady state. Steady state distribution. Now, if you modify, then it's a steady state distribution. Now we can come back here in the same state after odd number of uh, steps. So these are two uh, some examples of uh, button death chain. Uh, some easy example, and uh, I stop this uh, lecture here. And next uh, video we discuss on what is the average number of visit of the recurrent state and then what is called non recurrent and what is the condition for non recurrent and we will prove some something some theorems using bounded convergence theorem and some re reducible chain and some convergent of system distribution when this is converged and we will stop the So this is for today.